Alright, hello and welcome to uh, Let's Play Pokemon Yellow with me, Amanda. Um, and we are still in the Sylph Company. I am so sorry it's so long. <laughs> if it wasn't a plot point, then yeah. Um, so we are continuing down this list of questions. Um, she might be able to get through the rest of them and then we'll have to come up with something else for later. Um, anyway, 31. Have you ever fallen for your ex's best friend? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, I'm just gonna leave it at that. Definitely, definitely not. Yeah. Uh, 32, what's the last thing you put in your mouth? Water? Yeah, I took a drink of water, um, just a little bit ago. Hydration. It's hot. No, it's not. It's, it's actually just healthy to drink water. 33, who was the last person you drove with? Um, with me driving or just being in the car while somebody else was driving? Because if that's the case, then my parents, um, yeah. Um, the last person I was driving and they were in the car? Hmm. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember. Um, it's been a very long time since people have been in my car. Uh, mostly because I can't really, I don't have the money to drive anywhere. So, yeah. Anyway, 34, how late did you stay up last night and why? Uh, last night I was up until about, about 2 a.m. Um, I was finishing um, making my first gift set and it was taking a very long time because the only way that I could figure out how to do it is to screenshot one at a time every single frame of the movie clip that I wanted to use and then compile them and then continue on and do the same thing for the next I, I had six gifts in this set um, so I just I for it, it took me four hours let's put it this way four very long hours so then I finally finished it, and then I was like, oh, I just need to need to not do that anymore. Um, and then I was watching a Comedy Central special, uh, and then, you know, letting the dog out for the last time uh, for the night. And then, um, yeah, so mostly pointless things. Uh, but I learned how to make gifts, and that's, that's something. Um, that's a life skill that I needed. <laughs> Uh, okay, 35. Um, if you could move somewhere else, would you? Yes. Um, staying in the United States, I would like to be in New York or San Francisco. Um, or somewhere down south, like Florida. Somewhere in Florida would be great. Basically, anywhere that doesn't get cold ever, or at least has tolerable cold temperatures. I would really like that. Um, and not in the United States, uh, I'd really like to move back to England, that's, that was a great thing, and that, you know, that contradicts the, what I just said, but being there, there was so much to do, and so much that I just experienced all the time was great, um, or I could, I'd like to move anywhere, um, I'm pretty open for my teaching right now, where I'm gonna go, um, it all depends on how much they're gonna pay me, of course, because that's always, um, my biggest worry is being able to pay for stuff um, and afford all my bills and whatnot. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah, I'd like to just move anywhere. Um, I'd like to live places and experience things because uh, what's life without experiences? Um, 36, who's the last person you took a picture of? Uh, my mom and one of my cousins. Um, they wanted to send a picture to one of my other cousins to make uh, make them jealous because we were at a place that she really likes and she wasn't there with us because, you know, she was busy traveling and stuff. She was in New Orleans or something, you know. Poor her. <laughs> um... Uh, 37, can you live a day without TV? Yeah, I, I've done that a lot. Um, are we also counting watching TV on the internet, like watching shows? Because that's mostly how I watch my shows, is online. Sorry, uh, 
but I don't have HBO and I can't buy it, nor do I have BBC America. So I kind of have to, you know, find other places. I try to watch them as legally as possible, but, you know, I, there's just so many things in the way of watching things legally. <clears throat> um, so yeah, I, I mean, even that, I could totally do that. I could just read books and stuff, because I own 400 of them, and some of them I haven't read yet, so I could probably do that. Yeah, that, that's totally doable. Um, 38, when was the last time you were extremely disappointed? Um, um the time, well, yeah, I'm going to go with this one. I found out that somebody had been lying to me about a relationship, um, but, like, I knew that they had been with this person that wasn't good for them. And I just didn't say anything, um, because if they didn't tell me, then they didn't want me to know for whatever reason. But I still knew because it was really obvious. I mean, come on, don't put Facebook pictures everywhere or talk about them indirectly or directly um, all over the internet uh, if you want people to not think that you're dating, <laughs> because seriously. Um, yeah, I'm like super good at... Uh, figuring out when people are lying to me about stuff. Um, so when I find out that I was right, um, I get disappointed in them for thinking that I was that dumb that they could lie to me like that. Uh, yeah. So, you know, don't lie to me because I always find out, um, and I might not tell you that I found out, but I always find out when people are lying and then I'm really disappointed in you. I'm going to be really good at being the parent who's like, you're just, you, I'm disappointed in you, and that will be the worst punishment. Because I won't get angry, I'll just get really disappointed. <laughs> um, yeah. Three names I go by. 39, three names I go by. Uh, Amanda. Um, Amanda, drop the first A. I don't really... Mm, And then I guess if you want to use my internet handle, uh, that's most places. It's really everywhere but YouTube and um, Twitter, which is really annoying on Twitter because the company that has my username, um, Initial A, uh, saved. They haven't tweeted anything since 2009, and I just want to go to Tumblr, go to Twitter and be like, listen, get rid of this and let me have it. Because <laughs> it's like, that's where I am pretty much everywhere except there and here on YouTube because I made the YouTube in 2008 before I thought that I should link the two. Um, I, it was 2008. Um, you know, I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, initial A, um, cause that's where I am on my fanfics. <laughs> Everybody's gonna go look at my fanfiction now. Um, yeah, be prepared for a lot of, uh, cutesy OTP stuff. Um, yeah, initial A, Amanda, and Amanda, my first name. I don't have any nicknames. Um, my parents were never really big on nicknames. I tried to come up with some for myself, but that doesn't really work. You can't nickname yourself. That's no, that, mm, It just goes badly for everybody. So yeah, I really don't have any nicknames. Um, well, one of my friends calls me by my last name, but that's because... Um, there's like six Amandas that we know, so we all just kind of started... Some parents started doing Amanda middle name um, to keep us all straight, and then one of my friends just, <coughs> she just cut out the middle man and just started calling everybody by the last name. Um, so I guess, you know, my last name too. Um, yeah, which I'm not revealing right now. I might do it. You might see a change later, but right now, no. Sorry. <clears throat> Sorry, had to get some water because lots of talking. Uh, yeah, so that's a, there, right there, there's the last thing I put in my mouth. Um, my gosh, there's so many relationship questions in this stupid thing. Um, uh, okay. So, number 40. Are you currently in a relationship? I am not, gentlemen. Um, yeah, no, I'm not in a relationship right now. Um, 
41, what is your all-time favorite romance movie? Um, romance movies are kind of dumb. I haven't seen one that I really like, like. Um, can I go with the TV miniseries? Uh, the miniseries North and South, the BBC one, uh, with Richard Armitage as John Thornton. Thornton. Um, which that just makes it all better. Um, even, you know, I, that's why I watched it to begin with, because I knew he was in it, and I'm like, hey, attractive gentleman in Victorian wear, even though this is pre-Victoria, I think. Uh, you know, very attractive man in a suit all the time, period piece. Um, and I just, and there's only a couple episodes, like, I think it's, there's like four in this miniseries, hence miniseries. It was just so good! And there's a book that it's based off of um, by Elizabeth Graskell, and I'm working through it right now, but it's written in that style of the 1800s and the 1700s that I loathe with the passion of a thousand burning suns. Um, so it's very slow going. Um, I'd like to modern, I'd like to update it to modern day. Um, but aside from the fact that, you know, there's a very attractive kiss at the end, and I really don't like kissing in movies or TV shows or anything, because they always, like, zoom in really close, and there's, like, the wet kissing noise that's, like, ugh, gross. Um, yeah, I tend to not like the, the passionate make-out scenes. Um, it just it makes me... I'll read about it if I, in a fanfic or in a book. Like, that's hot, but watching it, not so much. Um... <clears throat> but this is like the top five kisses ever um because there's a very lengthy build up to it and it's pretty great um but there's like there's so much other stuff going on and it's like it's kind of pride and prejudice -y because kind of everything is every romance romantic comedy whatever even though this is really a comedy um it's kind of romantic drama drama thing um, but yeah, it's just, it's very good. There's a lot that goes into it, and there's a lot of, uh, stuff about the, um, like, the beginning of the unions movement, um, unionizing everything, and just life in England, and the differences between people in the north and people in the south of England, um, so, yeah, north and south, that was great, a great miniseries. So watch it, um, if you like seeing attractive men in suits, watch it. And if you just enjoy quality entertainment, watch it. Because it has both. Fun for the whole family. <coughs> oh my gosh. Mm. Um, 42, do you believe every day has a soulmate? Um, maybe not one, but everybody has uh, at, least, at least one person. Everybody has at least one other person that they can connect with and, um, in a soulmate-y way. Uh... I don't think everybody has just one. I think they have multiple, because there's a lot of people out there. Um, 43, what's your current problem? Ugh, it'd be longer to list what things I'm... Or it'd be shorter to list what things are not a problem. Um, current problem, I need to buy dress pants. Um, and I don't like shopping for pants. And I need to buy shoes. I don't like shopping for shoes. I have to, buy, I have to shop for things that I don't want to shop for. I don't want to spend money for or spend money on. So that's a, that's a problem. I don't want to do that, but I have to because work and stuff. Um, yeah. 44. Have you ever had your heart broken? Yes. Uh, when my... It was, you know, it was a bad breakup. My, my previous boyfriend, uh, previous relationship was a very bad breakup. Um, and it was just, it was devastating. Um, you know, I cried for about four hours and my friend took me to the mall and we bought stuff, um, to try and fill the gaping hole in my heart. Um, I spent money. Um, yeah, it was, it was very difficult and, um, it took a very long time for me to get over that. Um, yeah, it was, it was just bad. Uh, your thoughts on long distance relationships? Um, my only real relationship was a long distance relationship. Um, so I feel like you can make it work if you want to. Um, he was stationed in North Carolina and also Iraq um, for two years. And, you know, he went to boot camp while we were dating. Um, so yeah, most of that relationship was long distance. Um, and you can make it work. You just have to, you have to, you have to figure out a way to make it work for you. Um, but it's, it's totally doable. I promise it's doable. Um, 
but it's not for everybody. I also say that. My thought is it's not for everybody, and if you want it to work, you'll make it work. Uh, 46, how many kids would you want to have? Um, be, probably two or three. Two or three sounds good to me. Um, uh, and I'm up for adoption, too. Um, <laughs> I'm not personally up for adoption. That sounded, that sounded bad. Um, but I would like to, you know, if, if, if necessary, I would like to adopt kids. Um, or if we wanted to, uh, yeah, I would like, I'd like to, I would consider adoption, um, and then also, you know, I'm definitely up for biological, uh, mostly because it's like, how weird, you're growing another person inside of you, and I want to, I kind of just want to experience that, because, like, that's just weird, you know? Um, you know, yeah, it's the whole, th I just, I want to experience it, because I just, it's like, wow, that's, that's so weird, I gotta try that out. <laughs> people understand that um have you found it hard to tell someone you like them yes all the time that's my entire existence is difficulties relating to other people anyway okay so that's it for me um i will see you guys next time or you'll hear me next time thank you for watching um okay bye